We saw plenty of cloud cover across the area today, but overall it was a pretty nice January day. Highs in the 20s nearly statewide. Now we are going to be seeing even warmer temperatures moving into the area over the next couple of days. Highs should be back in the 30s. However, some precipitation looks to be moving in our direction and there is a pretty good chance that if it arrives, it could be in the form of rain or freezing rain as we move into tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow night. We'll take a look at the forecast in a few seconds. First, our current conditions in Brainerd, it's cloudy. We have 22 degrees. The dew point is at 16, 78% humidity with winds out of the south at 6 miles per hour. In Bemidji, it's 19 under cloudy skies. The dew point is at 14. Steady barometric pressure and winds are calm. Our temps around Minnesota tonight, teens and 20s across the northern and central part of the state. We are down to about 14 right now in Roseau, 16 in Foston with Grand Rapids and Little Falls still in at 21. Checking in with the Eagle Eyes tonight, Don in Deer Lake seeing mostly cloudy skies. 11 was our low this morning. We had a high of 24. And Dewey in Park Rapids also seeing plenty of cloud cover. 5 was our low early on today. We had a high of 25. Looking at the Almanac, Brainerd today reaching a high of 24. So temperatures just a little bit above the seasonal averages. Right now the average in Brainerd is 21. The low at 9 Early on today, sunset at 9 minutes after 5. Bemidji today topping out at 23, a little bit above that average high of 17. We had 10 for the low and sunset, uh, sunrise excuse me, at, at 7.56. So as you look at the highs around the rest of the state, into the 20s. So again, some very comfortable January temperatures across the area today. 23 in Grand Rapids and Little Falls. We topped out at 25 in Foston and Grand Rapids. Roseau in today at 23. Low temperatures into the single digits, mainly above zero for most of Minnesota. Uh, we had Foston in at 8, 3 in Little Falls, 9 in Grand Rapids. A little bit warmer across the far north with Roseau in with a low of 12. Looking at the radar picture, we do have a little trough of low pressure moving across northern Minnesota, and that has meant some snow in the southern part of the state. It's going to remain pretty quiet, however, across the northern and central parts of Minnesota tonight. Variable clouds, we could be seeing some clear skies in parts of the north, some cloudy skies more towards central Minnesota. And overall, it looks like temperatures should be fairly mild tonight. We're looking at lows dropping only into the uh, low teens. Heading into tomorrow, partly cloudy skies for the start of the day. And again, those temperatures back up into the 30s, even mid-30s in the northwestern part of the state. However, in the afternoon, there is a slight chance that some precipitation could move in. And because of where the temperatures are, we're looking at the chance for some rain or freezing rain as we head into the afternoon hours. Central Minnesota should also be enjoying partly cloudy skies. And again, very mild temperatures, low to mid-30s in the central part of the state as well, with it looks like uh, highs in the 30s again on Thursday. So as we look at our forecast, variable clouds tonight, lows near 11, south winds at 5 to 15. For tomorrow, partly cloudy skies, and there is that slight chance in the afternoon of some rain or freezing rain in northwestern Minnesota. 33 for the high, winds south at 5 to 20. Tomorrow night, that rain and freezing rain will continue spreading across the northwestern part of the state and could begin mixing with snow as temperatures fall a little bit overnight. Looks like there is a small chance for some snow across northern Minnesota on Thursday. Highs again near 32. Uh, it is going to cool down as we move into the weekend. Highs this weekend should be in the teens, and we continue to have a chance for some light snow on Friday in the north on Saturday. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.